Ladies and gentlemen, our institutions of higher learning have become breeding grounds for hatred and intolerance. At the University of Kansas, a professor, someone entrusted with shaping young minds, has called for direct violence, murder, against those who won't vote for Kamala Harris. Now, this is not just a difference of opinion. It is a direct threat to our republic and our way of life. While the left preaches tolerance, their actions speak volumes. And they contribute to the culture of terror in this country. Remember, we only want peace. We want everyone to get along. We want open, open discussion, open conversation, the free expression of ideas. But that's clearly not what the left wants. And tonight we expose this hypocrisy and the danger that's lurking right inside our nation's classrooms. Now imagine if this professor and their violent rants, imagine if it happened on the road. Now would you be prepared? That's why you need Car Vision X. Recent reports show drivers with dash cams are 60% less likely to be found at fault in traffic accidents. This easy-to-install device records every detail, offering collision documentation, 24-7 security, and memorable drive capture. With 4K Ultra HD night vision and loop recording, it's your guardian on the road. Don't let rage catch you off guard. Visit CarVisionX.com now for free express shipping and exclusive bonuses. Drive smart, stay safe, and always be prepared. Thank you to our sponsors for keeping the show going, and thank you for your donations. So this is um, another shocking moment as I wake up. In the great state of Illinois, in the country of America, I find this. Uh, guys are smarter than girls. You got some serious problems. Uh, that's what frustrates me. There are going to be some males in our society that will refuse to vote for a potential fe female president because they don't think females are smart enough to be president. We could line all those guys up and shoot them. They clearly don't understand the way the world works. Did I say that? I, scratch that from the recording. I don't want the deans hearing that I said that. <clears throat> guys, Too late. This frustrates me. There are going to be some males in our society that will refuse to vote for a potential fe female president because they don't think females are smart enough to be president. We could line all those guys up and shoot them. They clearly don't understand. <laughs> That's in a university. I mean, how many of those students do you think the male students sitting in that room are voting for Donald Trump? Do you think that any of them might have felt uh, terrified or feared for their, their own lives in that moment? Is this guy serious? Or is this just some superheated rhetoric? Is, is, I mean, is this... Imagine... Okay, you got impressionable minds sitting there right in front of you. Mm-hmm. Remember uh, Thomas Crooks? Yeah, he was a college-age student. How, how many uh, people is this guy inspiring right there? To go be the next mass shooter? The next uh, alleged Trump assassin? Well, my, 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 uh, my, my professor at my university, he said, if you don't vote for Kamala Harris, you deserve to be dragged out and shot. That's the rhetoric being presented by this professor. <sighs> I don't really know what to, what to say anymore. Like it just keeps, it feels like the, the, the temperature keeps rising and rising and rising and no one's turning it down. We've got a president who's had more than two. I mean, we've we the two like high profile assassination attempts. Then we had the 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 lunatics. There was the lunatic in uh, Arizona uh, that said crazy things, called up Mar a Lago. Then there was the other guy that got arrested. So there's basically four. And then he had the talk of the missiles that were transplanted across the border that were going to target Air Force One. That's five. And then you got Matt Gates explicitly discussing all the different assassination attempts or, or assassination squads that are in the country. Three 
he said were foreign, I believe, and uh, two were domestic. And then you have rhetoric like this guy. So thankfully, thankfully, we're finding that this guy has been uh, placed on administrative leave. Uh, sources uh, identify a uh, response from Professor Jonathan Brumberg states, source identity was not correct, but the university has identified and placed the instructor on leave. Uh, this is why source corroboration must occur every time before exposing an individual. I guess maybe someone had misidentified this guy. Uh, but the actual professor has now been placed on leave, which is good. But Trump derangement syndrome is real. Donald Trump. 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 Who in the hell does he think he is? Who does he think he is? These people are sick. <laughs> yeah, these people are sick. Check this out. Brian, go vertical, please, on this one. This is a deranged Harris Walls mass supporter charging at a Trump supporter in Warm Springs, Georgia. This was published five hours ago. And they're all they're all loaded. They're all they're, they all got sidearms. Thankfully, uh, nobody pulled them out. Brian, I don't know. I think you were trying to talk to me in my ear. I don't know if you were or not, but mm -hmm. uh, Brian said a fat redneck calling another redneck a redneck is hilarious. Uh, so that's the state of the nation. Make asylums great again. Now, if you haven't seen this, I actually posted this to my ex profile at Next News Network. If you're not following us there, you need to follow us. Because while you're uh, not on my YouTube channel, I'm over there on X and I'm having more fun than I usually do <laughs> on that platform. But this video I did post. Um, In the main line. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. This is so ridiculous. Uh, Brian, go horizontal, please. You realize that, right? This is going to be great. This is going to be great. This is so ridiculous. You realize that, right? No, it's not. Fuck Trump. Brian, go horizontal, please. I'm not sure if you are or not. What I said. I know, but I hate Trump too, Chad. But you don't see me out here destroying property. It's probably illegal. You know what? You know it's a fucking crime to have a fucking Trump band sign. Oh my god. In the main line. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, what is that? Oh my god. Uh, what is that? Oh my god. Well, that's just great. What happened? Oh 
my god! What? These fucking people! They're fucking assholes! I have to get to work! Don't tell me you got a flat! Look what they did! Oh boy. Fucking asshole! <laughs> well? Now, um, I should point out that an earlier post of that did get community noted. They said that it was a satire piece, uh, but that does not change the reality. Let's just maybe we'll just instead of calling it a satire piece, how about we call it a dramatic recreation of real events? Because that's exactly what's going on. Like this woman here finding stolen Trump signs. Look at this. Now you can go. Uh, you can go horizontal, uh, vertical with this. I'm, I'm tired of talking like this. Can we put signs up here? Or I did two days in a row at the Piscataquis County Democrat headquarters. And since it's a felony to remove signs, or so I've been told, and we have to be tolerant, I came to check and see if we knew where they were. That's my car. Here they are. Look at this. They're parked right behind all the signs I put up right behind the Democratic office. Here they are for everybody to see the tolerant, tolerant left. So we put signs up here, or I did two days in a row at the Piscataquis County Democrat headquarters. So she's outside of Democrat headquarters and she has put signs out in front. Of course, they're going to be pissed off about that. But if it's on an easement or it's on a public uh, w uh, way, then and it's legal to do so, she has every right. The Democrat Party comes out and rips her signs out, which is apparently against the law. And, oh, this is another, here's some great Trump derangement syndrome footage. Yes, uh, let's see what we got here. Yes, Brian, there we go. So this happens all over the country. But what what is Trump derangement syndrome? Well, Donald Trump, he actually has studied it. Suffer from a thing called TDS. Do you know what that is? Yes. TDS is a, it's a horrible, horrible terminal disease. It destroys the mind. It destroys the mind before the body, but the body eventually goes. TDS is... Trump derangement syndrome. They have it at levels. They suffer from a thing called. Yeah, see, Donald Trump, he, he knows all about it uh, because he's been attacked by individuals. Jesse Waters even did an investigation into it. Simply, it for some reason, Trump serves as an existential injury to all the progressive people, and they simply they, they despise him. It's unbelievable. What happens when Trump wins, if he wins? <laughs> They've said this guy's a dictator and life's going to be over. How are they going to process that? I'm nervous. Right. Well, I think the first thing that they will do is they will go on X and remove all those posts where they said that if Trump wins, they will be moving to Canada. <laughs> right. That's the first thing they'll be doing. Right. Uh, you know, it's just unbelievable to me that people could be so riled up by all these types of things. I mean, of course, presidential elections are important. But go hug your children, go for a walk, uh, read a good book. It's unbelievable how vested people are in hating Trump when, of course, many of them agree with their positions. But for some reason, he is an aesthetic injury. They despise him. It's insane and it's irrational. It For some reason. Yeah, it leads people to run over Trump signs, steal Trump signs. And, um, you know, live rent free. Trump lives rent free in their heads, but it's just this lunatic here at the university of Kansas, what was said in this classroom. Uh, I think this guy is going to forever regret this. It has gone completely viral. There's no escape now. And at least he's on administrative leave. He should be fired, but I think what the, here's what, here's what my prediction is and what they're going to do to this guy. They are going to let him go. He'll be on paid administrative leave. He'll be able to, you know, sit at home in his underwear, 
you know, go on Zoom calls, do his thing. And then uh, well, they'll wait for the election to be over. This guy will fade into obscurity. Everyone will forget about this viral moment. The news cycle will pass and he'll be back to work. Well, I think we should all keep close tabs on a guy like this. Very close tabs. Because he's the one teaching your kids at the university. Unreal. So the University of Kansas has placed this professor on administrative leave, but is that enough? We're talking about somebody who openly called for violence against political opponents. In a sane world, this would be grounds for immediate termination, possibly criminal charges. But here's the question for you. My friends, is this an isolated incident or a symptom of a deeper rot in our education system? Are our universities teaching critical thinking or just criticism of one side? Sound off in the comments.